Why are there so many specimens of one kind of animal? We have kept excavating the yeah. same kinds of animals over mm -hmm. and over again, mm -hmm. like thousands of them. We're talking about how there's thousands of specimens or thousands of variations of the same animal, right? And right. you might be like, okay, well, why do we need like a whole wall of dire wolf skulls? Who cares? Imagine we had to show a specimen of a human. What human are you gonna pick? Oh. Are you gonna pick a big buff man? A small person, um, a person with broken bones, a per like Male what are you going to pick? There's so much variation, yeah. right? And if you just picked one human specimen to represent the entire race, you wouldn't be getting a super great idea of what the human race looks like, of the variation of like, was this a super tall person or was this a short person? Like, is six foot average or is it super tall? Even within our own bodies, we see variation. So getting male versus female, young versus old, right? Like uh, the whole life cycle of a dire wolf together tells us a lot.